Look, by the time that this video is posted, it will be officially the one year anniversary of my channel. Well, not really the one year anniversary. I've had it for three years and I've been posting for three years, but it's the one year anniversary of when I actually started trying and actually began posting more. So I pretty much count it as the one year anniversary because it means a lot to me. So throughout this entire week, I've been doing stuff that throws back on my original content and what I got well known for. And for the day of the anniversary, I thought what better than and the mace. Cause you know, my most popular video and like my third most popular video are both the maze. I don't know what you guys love about this game. Maybe it's the crappy handwriting. Looks like a toddler tried to write this with their left hand. Maybe it's the insane amount of drug jokes that I make. Or maybe it's just the fact that you like me as a person. Ah, who am I kidding? That isn't right. You guys would never. But basically today I'm gonna be playing the maze and I'm gonna try to complete it. Or I mean, I'm gonna try as hard as possible before getting my face shoved into my foot, which I mean, it might be possible. It might. So I guess like the video if you support the channel for my anniversary. Usually I ask for likes as a joke, but today is a very special day. Let's just go ahead and play the maze, dude. It's been a long time coming. Oh yeah, baby. The iconic piano. I remember the first time I played the maze, this piano played. I was bragging about how I actually got my in-game audio to work and it was super loud. Now I've gotten things a little more sorted out so you guys won't have to explode your eardrums to watch my video. But Heck yeah, dude. I'm excited for this. I'm actually genuinely pretty excited to return to the maze after all this time. Also, let me zoom out for a second. I am not sure why the camera looks like this. I don't know why the vignette only affects like the middle part of my screen and not the edges, but that's okay. I'll ignore it. The video is always zoomed in, so you guys don't have to worry about it. It's just going to be bothering me the whole time. Ooh, I hate this game. I hate the maze. I'm going to delete all of the maze videos on my channel. So where else to start but inside the maze itself? We got our handy dandy flashlight, our handy dandy camera, in case we want to take a picture of the beast as it tries to kill us. Make some memories right before we die. Oh yeah, baby, that's one for the photo album. Now let's jump down this really indescript and filthy hole. Oh yeah, baby, I can already feel the mud in between my toes. I kinda wanna turn my volume up a little cause this game always terrifies me. Cause the whole point of the game is that you should be able to hear when the monster's coming, but I yell when I record. So I'm not gonna be hearing anything at all. I'm just gonna get jump scared randomly and pee my pants. I have to sit on a bucket this entire video with my pants off so I don't soil my clothes. Ah, oh, look, I made friends. My homie Josh12JS is going to lead us through. Yes, Josh12JS. Our Lord and Savior, Josh12JS. I remember him in the Bible. I remember they wrote a whole book about this dude. Kind of famous, aren't you, Josh J? I forgot his name. Josh12JS. Kind of famous, aren't you? Oh yeah, and I'm just ignoring this other person that's with him because she doesn't matter. Only Josh12JS matters. The savior of man, forgiver of sins. Look, Josh 12 JS, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure if you know where you're going. I mean, they call me a skeptical, but I feel like if I stay in this wet cave, I'm gonna get trench foot. So Josh 12 JS, you mind leading me out of it? Josh 12 JS, my flashlight's kind of dying. I'm just gonna have to rely on yours for now. So don't let that flashlight die, buddy. I believe in you. Oh my God, stop flashing the camera behind me. Great, now they're both using the camera. Amazing. I swear to God, I'm gonna get sued. Somebody's gonna watch this video and get a seizure out of nowhere and I'm gonna get my YouTube channel taken away. God, I'd feel terrible if that happened. If you like experience anything like that while watching one of my videos, please tell me about it because I do not want any of that. Josh? Josh? Josh just disappeared in front of me? Did he leave? No, no. He actually... Wow. Yeah, I looked on the player list. He's not there. Josh really just abandoned humankind. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of parallels to the Bible here. All right, we got a nice little cave that we can crawl in. Eat a spider. We get a nice spider web inside of our mouth. Floss our teeth with the cobweb. Hello? Is anybody here? What if I just crawl the entire time? That makes me feel sick. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> back in, back in, back in. Ooh. Yeah, did you guys see that? That is Cajolier, or whatever his name is. He's a little sack boy from Little Big Planet. Now, he is not somebody that you want to stare at for too long because he gets a little nervous. He doesn't like prolonged eye contact. So if you stare at him for more than, I don't know, two seconds, then he gets out a pair of rusty knives and cuts open your jugular. Yeah, I know. That's what I said, right? Kind of 
of wacky for a child to be murdering people and also giving them tetanus. But I mean, he's just a kid. What can you do? I'm kind of more concerned that I haven't heard the main monster at all. Like, I'm more concerned that I haven't heard him than if I have heard him. I don't know his name. I just call him Boot Clanker. I actually took time to learn Cajolier's name, but Boot Clanker just stays Boot Clanker. Because that's the noise he makes. He goes, Clank. Clank. All the way down the hallways. What a weird dude. After all, the last thing I want to see is that ugly mug. Don't want a skeleton jumping in my face and trying to insert itself into my body. Trying to find a pile of mortal flesh to conceal itself in. Look, we found more people. Like, oh, cools. Let's go, oh, cools. And this guy, who I can't read his name because he keeps on running, but he has a guitar on his back. We'll call him the Guitar Man. Come on, Guitar Man, let's go. Okay, hey, how about we don't do this today? See, that was Boot Clanker. Ah! They just reset their character. I see, so they were not looking forward to confronting that guy. I'll be honest, I'm not either. The last thing that I want to have is a foot through my chest, but still. I decided to not kill myself then and there because I'm not a wussy. I don't wussy out like those guys do. And besides, I have a phone now with the number 555555 pre-dialed. Finally, I don't have to dial the phone to call my friend at the number 555555. Alright, I need to go AFK to cut the recording real quick. If I die, I'll scream really loud so that you know. Look guys, I'm gonna be honest, the whole flashlight battery situation isn't looking too hot. I kinda wanna turn my volume up just so I can hear this guy if his boots clank. Cause when he just massacred that entire crowd of people, I did not hear him whatsoever. He just sort of appeared, murdered, and then left. Shh, shh. I thought I heard something. Bro, my heart seriously dropped for a second. I think I might have just heard the sound of my own heartbeat there and got confused. Aw oh, man, the fumes in this cave! All right, I was gonna say, oh man, the fumes in this cave are getting to me before Kajoli or jump scared me. I can't blame him. He just wants some friends, man. Wait. Dang it, dude, I keep hearing stuff. Is this what it feels like to be schizophrenic? Am I getting the full 4D experience right now? Ah, look, a rock. Finally, a rock. A precious treasure we can add to our collection. Shh. I really did hear boot clanking that time. I swear that was not in my head. I really did. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You guys saw the red there, right, right? Okay. Oh my god. All right, we're safe in a hole now. The boot clanker was across the hallway. He did not harvest our organs yet. Oh, this is the spider web hole. This hole is useless. There's literally nothing for us here besides foreign diseases. Oh my gosh, dude, I am not having a good time right now. I will be honest with you and admit that I'm not a happy camper at the moment. Dang it, dude, why did I only see his red glow? I wish I had, like, seen him in person, because it's a lot less scary to just follow behind him than it is to try and get around him. As you can tell by the fact that literally every single person in the server is huddling in this hole. What was that? Oh, I hear a boot clanky medanky. Shh. I think he walked away. These guys are really gonna make me go out there first. Screw you. Oh, hey, Cajolier. I'm going back into the hole. Cajolier, if I'm being honest, you're not my favorite dude. I mean, you look cute and all, but when you pull your rusty razor blades out of your bag, it kind of scares me. Also, my flashlight battery situation is not doing too hard. My flashlight battery might be about to die, so I think we're gonna have to switch over to the camera for now. So, let's take a snapshot of the area. Say cheese. Say cheese a second time. Dang it, dude. I'm not gonna be able to use the camera. I have to actually use the flashlight. I just have to hope I find the battery before I die. Yay! Oh my gosh, dude. I hate that my flashlight's about to run out of battery. I thought I just heard something, man. Oh my gosh. The game is messing with my head, bro. Great. Another phone, but no batteries in sight. Can I not just take the batteries out of the phone and then use that? Oh, <gasps> we made it to this place. This is the place that we need to go. Yeah, use the rock to smash the barrier. We can grab the rock again. Please tell me there's some batteries in here. All right, use the rock again. Dude, I'd reckon that I have like 20 seconds left on my flashlight before it passes out and dies. <gasps> Lanterns! We don't have to use our flashlight anymore! Oh, thank God. And we found an axe. So now we can show Boot Clanker who's boss and throw this at him. Dude, I am not liking this experience so far. I know that you guys think that the videos where I'm scared and going through severe trauma are funnier. But I don't think that at all, man. It's kind of scary if I'm being honest with you. I just want a battery for my flashlight so I can get back up to full battery. I just want to see normally again. <gasps>
Well, guys, it looks like we're going camera mode. I hope that boot clanker isn't camera shy. There is genuinely no light anywhere. How are we supposed to see anything with only the camera? Honestly, this might be dangerous to some of my viewers. Some people might not like flashing lights. You guys think that maybe the best plan right now is to reset our character and get a new flashlight? But we just got the axe, man. <gasps> if I hold the axe, it produces a slight amount of light. Life hack, life hack. All right, let's find this boot clanker guy and put an into his antics. Put a stop to this utter tomfoolery. Going back from where we came, boys. I don't know where the heck I am, bro. Oh, here we are. All right, I'm gonna turn up my volume real loud for a second just so we can listen out in case he's out there. I don't hear anything. That somehow makes me more scared than if I did hear something. I really don't like the minimal amount of light. Hello. I gotta stick close. People? People, please, people. Oh, Cowler! Yeah, that's right. I hit you with the I don't have a light source now, do I? Please keep flashing your camera, random person, please. Oh, I found a little tunnel to crawl into. All right, this is back to the wood tunnel that I was at, and I completely wasted, completely wasted my axe on Cowler. Cajolier himself. Oh my gosh, guys. The phone produces a very slight amount of light. Maybe we can use that. Hello? Oh! Ah, well, perhaps we should have kept the axe for the moment that that guy killed me. And now we're back at the RV. As per usual, the maze experience is a vicious cycle. Hey, yeah, hey, divine player X standing in my face, flexing that flashlight with your institutional white face. My man put too much sunscreen on it. Ah, look, modern day Jesus. Tweak and Butters for Life was floating in air until she disappeared. I've played the maze three times now, and I think that that's enough. It's a real Really fun game and I'm so glad that this is what my channel could be known for and I'm so happy that you actually watched the video all the way through to be right now unless you skip to the end like a little hooligan but as it is apparently the day of my anniversary I will say that I'm very thankful for everything as much as I would like to tell you to go die or do drugs I won't for now usually I'm pretty mean to you but since it's my anniversary I guess I'll be nice consider yourselves lucky but yeah I know everybody says this so shut up but when I start Started YouTube, I couldn't imagine being this big. And I still got a long way to go, bro. A long way. I may not get in the Star Creator program because I say hell, damn, heroin, all that stuff. I say AIDS sometimes too, if you're lucky. But I'm fine with that. I don't need the Star Creator program. We're good. And subscribe if you like the video. Die if you don't. I don't care. Goodbye.